Hi everybody! Today I'm going to do a small studio tour. So let's go! So this is the control room. It's small but sounds really well. Let's start with the heart of the studio. The Antelope Orion 32HD converters. 32 channels of ADDA high quality conversion with an amazing clock, uh, MADI ADAT and SPDIF digital connections. Amazing unit. Down here is my 2012 Mac Pro. A little bit old but works really well. It can manage huge sessions yet. In the center of my desk is my controller, the Raven MTI2. It's a multi-touch monitor and uh, it makes my life easier. It has improved my workflow a lot. This is my monitor controller, the Mackie Big Knob. It is 14 years old and uh, it never failed to me. It manages my three pairs of monitors. The Yamaha HS80 with the sub down there. The Hamo Classic 4 for hi fi reference and the JBL 1 Series 104 that I use now for second reference. As you can see, here I have another Yamaha monitor, an HS50. This is the center channel of my surround system. Here I have two more for surrounds. Now I'm working in a film. You can see here the project. But if not, I remove the surround just for having more space. Under the Orion. I have some mic pre's. This is the Studio Technologies mic pre eminence. A stereo preamp from the 80s. Really, really smooth. And a pair of octo pre's, which I use uh, mainly for drums and uh, percussion because of its fast transient response. On the other side, I have a couple of compressors, uh, DBX166A and uh, Draumer DL241. I think both are from the early 90s, when this stuff was not made in China. You can notice it in the sound. Then. I have the TL Audio Ivory Tube Preamp. Really simple and amazing on vocals and uh, acoustic instruments. Here I have my Clarity M meter from TC Electronic. It has a lot of presets and options and helps me to have the signals on the control. And here a pair of TC Electronic controllers for the plugins Master X HD and Brickwall HD. I use them mostly for mastering. 
down here. I have a couple of Neudric patch panels and uh, a piece of gear that I love. Uh, my TBX128 Supermonic Synthesizer. It gives that amazing low end to the recordings. Uh, CD player that I use sometimes for referencing and the amp for the Hamo speakers. Here I have my instrument trolley. I can place here the head amps and connect them to the cabinet inside the live room. I have my Vox MB50 AC, amazing sound. Some DIs and pedals and cables, power supplies for my instruments. These are my instruments. I have uh, an Alhambra Spanish guitar. This is the 10C. It sounds really, really well. This is my Yamaha Acoustic CPX 900. My 95 Japanese Strat with the uh, Seymour Duncan mini humbucker in the bridge. My five string court curvo bass. This bass was the first one I recorded here and when the bassist wants to sell it, I have to buy it. And this is my concert ukulele. Some percussion here above the bass trap. Now let's go inside the live room. As you can see, there is no much treatment on the walls. This is because the big part of the treatment is on the ceiling. Like in the control room. Here I have two custom resonators for low frequencies and these panels for highs. It's a pretty live room, but it helps me a lot with tracking acoustic instruments. I have a pair of Audio Technica ATM 450 pointing to the corners, this one and that one. They live here. I use them as room mics and uh, I like a lot how they sound. Here's my SM7. The 414 and the Yamaha Subkick.
I have also some amps. This is my Marshall Acoustic AS100D. I used mostly for reamping. An orange crash for the bass that is completely modified and sounds really well. And a Marshall Valve State from the 80s. Here I have a uh, Hammond from the 70s and a uh, Korg CX3 which needs a little bit of a job. A pair of Jimbao bongos and the headphone amp, headphones and patch. Now we're going outside. Oh well, here. Here I have a couple of Louis Max. This is my 640 for the kick drum, dual capsule microphone, and a pair of 040 match uh, that I think are the best microphones for the budget. Out here I have my workbench for maintenance the fridge and the coffee machine some storage Headphones, mic stand, more mics, uh, C1000 from AKG, uh, Rode shotgun mic, SM7 box. 57, 58, D112, Beta 57, Beta 91A, uh, some Sennheiser, 914, 904, three of them, uh, C402 from AKG, is a old instrument mic. And here. Uh, a pair of C3000 from AKG, the 414 box, and more stuff. The couch where musicians can relax drinking their coffees. More storage up there. Yeah. Empty boxes, the toilet, cables, and behind this door, it will be my future control room, but I'll show you when it's done. I hope you enjoyed the tour, and see you in my next video. Bye.